Hi everyone, it's Adam here. Uh, I gotta squeeze around this, oh, sorry. I gotta squeeze around this bike here and these boxes. Um, so this is a special package, one that I'm really, really excited about. So uh, let's just get into it. I'll talk to you about it once it's all unboxed. documentation here. Let's see if it's anything about like a warranty or anything like that. Okay. Important information about our Jet Hot coated exhaust components. You can pause if you want to read this. So this is something that uh, for those of you that are interested in getting Jet Hot on your motorcycle or any exhaust, uh, you can look at this and get an idea of what they recommend for uh, care instructions. Put that aside for now, since I assume you've already seen it. Oh, we also got a sticker. This is what you pay the big money for. <laughs> Stickers. <laughs> okay. I guess this is the heat shield. Heat shield for the headers. They really pack this well, don't they? Oh wow, that's good. The thing is, I have no idea what this part looked like stock. Wow. Oh, interesting. So it's almost like it's caked on like clay or like ceramic. It actually made everything a little bit thicker. Uh, and I'm hoping that on the headers, they didn't um, make it so thick they wouldn't marry together. We'll see more on that in a minute, but so it's more of a matte black than a gloss black. This is uh, Jet Cot's Jet Coat's off-road Jet Hot Jet Hot's off-road coating. So you can hit it with rocks and all kinds of stuff, and it'll get like marred like that. But it won't actually. Um... good they did not coat the inside but they did coat no they didn't coat this part either okay total pros but they didn't coat any of the components that uh, actually marry up to other ones so you've got a really nice smooth edge here. this thing's light and you still have the uh, o2 sensor is also really still exposed and the inside is like it's coated with a white can you still see this the inside is coated with like a white um, it is coated inside and out. So the out inside is white and the outside is this, uh, it's really like highly textured. It smells normal to me. Pass the smell test. Let's keep going though.
bolts and springs. These guys are packing maniacs. So they actually coat the springs? The bolts? Holy crap. They actually coated all the the uh, the screws as well. Look at that. So you've got the normal thread on the inside there, but then you got here the uh, the jet hot coating on the outside. That is so impressive. You do not want to lose these. Let's Here's the uh, splitter for the Y pipe. The same thing, you've got that white on the inside and that really heavy duty on the outside. They also did not coat. Almost done. I'm guessing they did not do the springs. Did not do the springs, but um, the springs are already black on the outside and then obviously silver metallic on that side. So it'll be more noticeable now. I believe we're rocking a black uh, Alt-Rider skid plate. So the whole thing should meld together pretty well. But this is certainly troubling. So I'll need to call and ask them about this part here because I want to make sure that you know this is how that goes in there. But it's not quite going because of this. That inside's not done, but this is done. So I'll have to figure this part out. Hmm. So, to be determined, I guess. But, uh, also, where is my... Oh, this one has the white part. Okay. That's kind of not really the point of these things, though, right, of Jet Hot, is you don't want it to sand it down. So, to be determined, but here's the Acura setup. This pipe was uh, 700 bucks. So here's this, it goes just like that. Um, 700 for the pipe, and then another like 500 for the jet hotting process. So we're going to uh, take a step back from this and email Jet Hot and just see if they have any advice for me. But uh, for now, it's on the bike. Looks pretty good, I'll leave you guys with a thumbs up. And uh, I'll be back. I, I might add this video actually to show you guys kind of where we end up with this after the fact. Thanks for watching.